everyone. Welcome to another episode of Curated Golf Reviews. I'm Ryan Hernandez, one of the golf experts here. I've literally helped thousands of people find the golf clubs that work for them, so I can help you as well. But today, we're reviewing the Cobra Aerojet LS3 Wood. Important to know that I am not sponsored by anybody. Cobra did not pay me extra. I'm not sponsored by anybody to give you opinions on their golf clubs. So these are my opinions alone. If you'd like to chat with me about which clubs work best for your needs, click the link below my profile link in the description and I'm happy to help you out. Specs for this, ball 14 and a half degrees, member standard was 15, max was 15 and a half, so different there. This is the Cali White 70 stiff with the Lambkin 360 cross line grip on that. First impressions of this club, much like the standard, really, really liked this club. Hit it well, did its job, aimed it down right on the left side of the fairway most of the times and I got that fade bias to come back every time. Wasn't losing anything to the left. Really love the way that it performed there. Distance, I actually got more distance out of this than the other two because of the launch. So lower launching, I'm a higher ball hitter. I want a lower launching three wood. So I got more pierce, more roll out of it as well, but I can still hit an eye if I need to carry something. I love the versatility of the LS bottle that I can hit it low or hit it high. Not as much forgiveness there, more compact head, more fade bias there. So the forgiveness isn't there, but the workability is, which is key for me. Ball speed is still there very, very fast, especially when you're hitting the center of the face. You know, that power shell, that launch bar there really helps with that. Smaller, more compact head which I really like. I already thought the standard was pretty compact, but I like the smaller look of the LS. Would definitely be the model that I would choose to go with if I was putting Cobra in the bag. Adjustable, again, this comes 14 and a half, so a little bit lower. The standard lofts are different for the different models, so this can go to 13 and up to 16 for this model as well. So it is adjustable. I really love how this moved through the grass. I hit this off the tee and off the ground a lot. And the thing about the standard and the max just seemed like I was hitting kind of a heavy thud if I tried to hit it from the grass. But I was able to hit this out of the rough and out of the fairway. It just felt like I was getting a more precise strike. And I think that's because of the more compact head, more aerodynamic here. I really love the way that this kind of peels off. It gives me just a little bit more precision to strikes and just felt like I wasn't swinging such a big head through the grass. Recommend this, again, this is more of a lower handicap player or a player who needs lower spin, needs to get their spin down. If you have not upgraded your driver in three to five years, but you're a better player, or the three wood you're playing with now is just getting you too much spin, this is definitely an option for you to consider. If you're a higher handicapper who struggles with the slice, you're going to want to avoid this club and go with the max version or even the standard. Clubs work differently for everybody, okay? Just because it's an LS model does not mean it's only for lower handicap players, okay? That's a myth. I've fit plenty of triple diamonds and low spins into maybe an older golfer who's a higher handicap because the forgiveness is there, because the numbers are right. It's just a combination of shaft and head to fit your game. So it does not necessarily mean because it's a low spin, it's just for tour players, just for lower handicap players. Yes, that typically tends to be who fits into these, but make sure you come talk to me and we can get something that fits your game perfectly. And if you like this video, subscribe, right? Come watch more from Curated. Check me out, Ryan Hernandez Golf. You can always find more videos there as well. Thanks so much. We will see you next time.